Now, the Taliban is desperately looking for global recognition, but it is doing nothing to earn it. In fact, it is doing the exact opposite. Taliban has dissolved five key departments. Human Rights Commission, Election Commission, Ministry of Women's Affairs, High Council for National Reconciliation, which was once a key security council that protected the Afghan constitution, and lastly, Ministries for Peace and Parliamentarian Affairs. What is Taliban's justification for this move? Financial crunch. Afghanistan faces a budget deficit of $501 million. So while announcing their first annual budget, they deem some departments unnecessary. One can't help but notice that all sections shut down are crucial to a stable social and political life. The Taliban did say that the bodies could be reactivated in future if needed. The key word here being if needed, because we have heard this before. Taliban has made many hollow promises since taking power. Now, in the latest, the Afghan interior minister promised, quote-unquote, very good news for secondary school girls. He hinted at a mechanism linking the school dress codes and how the education should be based on Afghan culture and Islamic rules. At this moment, now, Vion does not have any more information regarding this claim. Earlier this year, Taliban closed all high schools and colleges for girls, after which women were asked to only venture out if a male companion accompanied them. Then, just recently, Afghan women were given the most ruthless choice. Cover your face in public or even better, do not bother leaving your home. Overnight, years of progress lost here. The women, minorities, marginalized groups in Afghanistan are suffocating under this government. Every day has been an assault on their rights, their right to education, their right to free movement. All of it has been systematically dismantled. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now, get all the news on the move.